Hi guys, Lucas here and I'm going to go through how to connect the SOSI which is a simple interface that connects to a database and I'm going to show you how to compile with the CMake how to get the DLLs and ellipse from it and how to compile it with Visual Studio 2015 and use it with the Postgres SQL so I start by just typing SOSI into Google and you go to SOSI then you go to download and there is the version you click on SOSI so now we are in the SourceForge and we're going to download the version of SOSI 3.2.3 and I'm going to get the zip version the download will start in two seconds Come on. Now when I downloaded the saucy, I'm going to go to my downloads and extract all. So as you can see, the files are, are, are all here. So we have the saucy core and you have all the H and CPP files here. So now what I need to do is I need to compile my libraries and that is where you get the error with the Visual Studio 2015. So I'm going to uh, open a CMake. Where is the source code? I'm going to browse. I'm going to find my the saucy and where do I want the binaries to build I'm just going to build it on my desktop and I make this new folder saucy visual studio 2015 uh, test okay so make sure that you have the advanced option checked in now you can configure it and uh, choose your Visual Studio 2015 co compiler So now it is looking for uh, your Postgres database. Now I'm going to choose with, with which database I want it to work it. So I leave the Postgres database on. I'm going to configure it any, again. Okay, and I'm going to configure it again. And as you can see, there is only a warning and it shows you where are the things that it needs from your Postgres. So if I open a Postgres, you have to have a Postgres installed and it will get the includes and it will get the ellipse that it needs from a Postgres. Now it w I will generate the code and as you can see, I can open the folder when I generated the code and now I can run the, the project and as you can see I have all builds uh, here you have to make sure that you have a win Windows 32 checked you go to your properties And as you can see, that is Visual Studio 2015. Now I'm going to choose 
build build solution and as you can see I have 10 errors where it says that CRT secure no warnings need to be disabled so and as you can see if I want to build it I have a macro redefinition of sprintf in a standard library so now I'm going to uh, close this video and I'm going to start with uh, another video where I'm going to go through how to fix all this error that you just got.